I can honestly say I revisited Dragon Tales. I never thought it'd come to this, but let's take a look. Okay, okay, we're good. Uh, we've all seen the intro before, we don't need to go over it again, uh, so let's continue on with the show. Alrighty then. <laughs> First, let's go over the plot. Max and Emmy, who are these kids? Let this image set the tone for the rest of the show. Move into a new home where they come in possession of a magical dragon skill that if you read the inscription in the box, it'll take them to the magical land of Dragonland. Uh, clever name. By the way, Emmy is played by Andrea Libman. So wait, they find this dragon skill, a magic dragon skill, left in a house by the person who lived there before them and the person didn't take it. Who was this guy? What black magic did he use to conjure up such a creation? Did he even make it? Did he find it? Where? Where would he go? Why did he find it? How did he find it? You know what? Screw this show. Dump the little knowing kid. Bring more the Dragon Tales. Make it. I like to believe that the previous owner once hung out in Dragonland and was ultimately driven insane. <laughs> Good stuff! Anyways, they travel to Dragonland and find a cast of colorful characters, but instead of six characters, we get three. And a half. Right? Cassie, Ord, Zack, and Wheezy. You'll come to hate them all, I promise. Throughout their adventures, they learn important lessons, and it's true that many of the morals are what you find in a kindergarten class, share, be kind, respect your friends, blah blah blah, but at times it also goes into things like, um, more sharing and more be kind, and occasionally teaching Spanish culture, that's about it, um, great? But for now, let's just go over the characters. You have Ord. Oh, what a cute little honey hummer. Oh my god, what is wrong with this guy? He's supposed to be our guy character? I mean, I've seen more guy characters in other kid shows, and they weren't even guys. What does that say? Physical comedy, my, um, my favorite. Look, I'm not here to judge what is manly or not, and I'm not here to judge you if I think you're manly by what I find as my standard of manly. But I'm looking at the show as myself and trying to understand what I find appealing and what I don't find appealing. And if this is supposed to be our main guy dragon character, I guess I'll just have to look somewhere else. I have a yo-yo! That's mine! Where's the crayon? Ugh, why do you have to be so whiny? Seriously! Is he supposed to be comedic relief? Cause it's not funny! At least I don't find it funny! Okay, okay, I'm overthinking this. I don't have to pick a guy character to enjoy the show. My recent struggles have taught me that entertaining characters can come in any gender. You're supposed to be the party filled one. And you know what? I don't give a damn. I dislike you already. But we have one more character to get through. Please, please, don't kill it for me. Oh, I guess I can wait. If I don't share my crayon, everyone will be mad at me. I guess I'll just have to tell them. Wow, a shy and kind character? Insecure in her words? Uncertain in her actions? Prone to worry? This character reminds me of another character from another show. Then why can't I care about this character like I did with the other character from the other show? Yes, you remind me of something else. That is good, but that doesn't mean I'll care. Cassie's problems come off as annoying and where I can sympathize with certain other shy characters in other shows, with this show, I just feel like yelling nut up or shut up. I have two reasons to explain these feelings. One, I already dislike the characters. When I see this character that could have potential to be like, hanging out with these characters, I just don't care. She wants her crayon back, but when I see how stupid her friends are, it makes me not care. And two, 
When you combine meh writing, meh voice acting, and meh plot, you get a character that I don't give a crap about. It all boils down to good writing plus good character plus good atmosphere equals a good time. That's something anyone of any age or gender can appreciate. Ugh, and that was just the characters. I swear I'm going to die. But there are more, and yes, stranger things than these monstrosities, like this guy, Ketzel. In Dragonland, for some strange odd reason, the parents are huge, we're talking giant. But Ketzel, who looks like he's supposed to be super old, is almost the size of most of them. Why? That doesn't make sense. Is he supposed to be a midget or something? Is he actually their age, but he smoked one too many cigarettes? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just pulling responses out of my butt here and trying to make sense of the show. Okay, I guess I'm being the idiot here. Well, let's see what the show's about. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. See how they run. See how they run. <laughs> That's funny. Amazing music, just what I wanted to hear. Music that's been in public domain, changed up a little, rather than original compositions that I would actually want to listen to on my spare time. Wonderful. Can we borrow your crayon and draw another ball, Cassie? Sorry, Emmy. I can't hear Mr. Crayon until I finish my card. And I'm really close. Wait, you... There you go. There's your ball. Mr. Crayon did his job, just one simple circle, and you couldn't take the time out to draw it? Look, I understand. You have this important card to draw for your mom. No problem, Cass. We can wait. Writers, if you're going to make an interesting plot, if you want to teach the kids something, you have to make it make sense. You can't just come up with a stupid, can we have another ball? No, I'm busy. And then expect the kids to be like, what, you can't draw one circle? And I guess you could say, oh, maybe he needs to have the little soccer patterns. No, this was honestly my first thought when I was a kid. Mother I didn't want to use it, Emmy. I only wanted to share it. Can't we play it together? Definitely. Okay, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I know that was one episode, but they're all like that. They're all like that, and they get worse. They get worse. I remember. I spent most of my childhood watching this show, where my friends would come in the morning to school with stories of the episode they saw in Dragon Ball Z. I had no stories, because we didn't have cable TV. We only had antenna TV, and the only show that was a cartoon and for kids at that time in the morning from 7.30 to 8 was Dragon Tales on KPBS. Now Arthur, the one good show that was educational from my childhood, would always start at 8 and we always had to be out of the house by 8 because school started at 8.30 and there was no way we'd make it to school so we always had to miss Arthur. But there were times that we were running late and we would see the first minutes of Arthur and you know what? Those few seconds of joy was like being in a fart-filled room and then getting a gasp of fresh air. Because that's what Dragon Tales was to me. Dragon Tales was a room full of farts. I hated the characters, I hated the show, I hated everything about it. It wasn't good at all! I know in previous shows I would go on about how this is that and that is this and how intricate the characters can be. Here, what you see is what you get. It sounds a bit harsh and the writers might have done a good job, but see, that's the thing. I'm not sure. With a certain other show, I knew what I was looking at. As an adult who doesn't even like cartoons, when you give me a show like this, Dragon Tales, and I find myself losing interest, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. The show is for little kids, so why would the writers try to please me? Well, they don't have to, as long as the kids are happy. I haven't watched cartoons in almost a decade. I stopped watching cartoons around 2003 through 2005. And animation has evolved immensely since then. So what good is the story if it doesn't hold up? What good are good characters if the show is just okay? And by okay I mean with little kids jokes and situations. They don't make me laugh. Or Oh my god. It makes sense now.
all this time, this whole time, this was what I was afraid of the whole time. You were the one I should have been pointing my finger at. The girly situations, the lame jokes, all of it. It all started back at square one. My childhood with dragon tails. I'm not a pansy, and I never was. My judgment came too quick with a certain other show. Quick, because I was afraid. Afraid of your terrible dialogue, your terrible characters, and most of all, your lame story, lame plot lines. There's one thing I gotta do now.